Alright guys, the video you're just about to watch is a full instructional video on how to make homemade from scratch healthy chips with some healthy burgers that are delicious tasting, high in carbs, high in fat, high in protein, so an overall bulking meal while still getting in some of those micronutrients. Boom, we've got big ass delicious chips. Boom, we've got delicious ass burgers. Let me try some of this for you. which tastes so fucking good. If you cook it the way I cooked it, you will have the best fucking meal ever. You'll enjoy bodybuilding. So all you need to do is just get a load of potatoes ready that you're gonna use. Obviously, I'm gonna be using white today. You know, you use accordingly what fits your macros. Right now, I'm bulking. So obviously, I'm gonna be having quite a lot of white potatoes. Basically, all I do is cut them pretty, probably about, just about a centimeter thick, like so, just so it's big enough that it doesn't fall apart while it's cooking. So I'll cut these into wee chips, about this size. And basically what that means is they're skinny enough that they get crispy and cook quite fast, but it also means they don't fall apart whilst I'm cooking them and flipping them and stuff like that. So I'm gonna cut all these into chips. As you see, it's very fucking simple. All you do is just cut a big slab off the, the potato like that and then just slice it into about three portions so I'll let you see what that looks like as soon as I finish cutting these so here's all the potatoes cut now these are a wee bit too much I over fucking estimated how much I'm going to eat so I'll probably cook them all and then cut back in the portion later on but I'll let you see what that looks like at the time I'm just going to throw this in a pot I've already boiled the kettle so I'm going to pour some boiling water over it and then cook it for 7 to 10 mi minutes on a high heat just to boil them and get them nice and soft and I'll put them in the grill and I'll let you see what that looks like. So I've turned it up to number 7 out of 9 and I'm just going to pour some boiling water over the potatoes. So now that the potatoes are on I'm going to chop up half of an onion right here and then I'm going to grate up some carrot. So here I've chopped up half of an onion. I've grated about a quarter of a carrot right here. So about a quarter of this here. And uh, if I was going to do a full pack of mince and use that to make burgers, I would do half a carrot. And right here, I'm actually going to half this half of an onion. So I'm going to use a quarter of an onion. So I'm just going to throw half of this away. And if I was using the full pack of mince right here, which is 500 grams, I would use half an onion, but since today I'm eating on my own, I'm only going to be eating 250 grams of mince. So I'm just going to stick to this here and use a quarter of a carrot and half an onion. So right here, I've just pulled out half of a pack of organic mince. And I put it on a whole new plate. I don't usually put like raw meat in my chopping boards. So all I'm going to do is add the onions and carrots to this. Put on some black pepper. Some salt. Some mixed herbs, some mixed herbs, some crushed chili on top. You can use fresh chili if you want, and then I'm just gonna add the carrots, sprinkle the carrot over, like so, and add about a quarter of an onion, finely chopped up, like so, and then all I'm gonna do is mix it. So once I've mixed everything together, got it nice and compressed, I'm going to make it into smaller burgers. And all you have to do is just tear a bit off and just mix it together until you get a burger. Like so. And I'm just going to make about three to four of these. I'll let you see what that finished product looks like. So here we have the three burgers. If you want your burgers to cook properly, make sure they're all about the same size and weight and thickness so they all can cook together and you're not eating some raw meat. So grab yourself a pot like so, something pretty big. Throw on a tiny bit of olive oil, like probably about a tea tablespoon, like so. Boom. Don't be using too much. You don't really need it. There's going to be some fat in the mince which will help cook it or help uh, 
stop it from sticking and then turn it up to a high heat and wait for the oil to sort of become very runny and then throw the burgers on top. So here's the oil ready, it's already heated up. Don't wait till the oil starts smoking or else you end up uh, destroying the fats in the oil. Just a wee health tip for y'all. And now all I'm gonna do is throw the burgers on and sear them. As you can hear that. So what I'm going to do is turn this up at a high heat, which it's already at, sear it, close the, make sure everything's turned brown, and then turn it way down and have this cooking for a long time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And what this means is it'll have a lot of flavor, and it'll be very nice and slow cooked. So now that the burgers are sealed over, I'm going to turn it down to a really low heat and just let these sit and cook slowly and then these potatoes will be done in probably about another one to two minutes. So now it's time to check the potatoes. Basically all you need to do is take out one chip, so dig one out from down below, Come on. like so. Basically you just stick the fork in, if it's nice and soft in the middle. Not too soft to the extent that you could mash them, but soft enough that they are ready to be cooked and they sort of just about fall off the fork itself. So now I'm going to get a bacon tray ready. I'm going to put a wee tiny bit of olive oil on it, coat the chips in it, and then put some salt and pepper on it, and then put it into the high heat so these get nice and crispy. So all I've done right here is put two about two tablespoons of olive oil on a bacon tray, and turn the grill up to full heat, which is 250 degrees centigrade. And then whilst that's been heating up, I just covered all these in olive oil, turned them with my fingers and stuff, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on top. So the chips have been cooking at a high heat for about 10 minutes. So now it's time to turn them. And the burgers are cooking away right here. So the chips have been cooking for 20 minutes. Now they're nice and crispy, I'm gonna serve them. I've just toasted up three white bops and I just put these under a grill at a high heat for just about about two or three minutes. And now I'm gonna slice up some lettuce and tomatoes. Now it's time to serve these up, like so. Just bam, throw a wee bit of burger on. Throw on a big whack of lettuce. Boom. And some chopped up tomatoes. All right guys, now as you can see, this is what I'm having right here. This is the burger fully made, got the chips made as well. This took quite a long time to make, probably about an hour and 15 minutes in total preparing everything and doing stuff like that. So you're obviously gonna to need to give yourself quite a lot of time. But that which takes long to cook and make, always tastes fucking delicious. So everything as you know is being made from scratch. So here's the chips right here, looking good, tasting good as fuck. <clears throat> Then here I've got the burgers, as you can see, boom, got the burnt meat underneath. I just got some toasted whole uh, white buns. And basically, uh, as you can see, I don't have that much micronutrients and fiber. All I have is a wee bit of lettuce and tomatoes. But earlier I had a big ass salad. And then before this meal, I had a big ass fruit salad. So I've definitely been high in fiber, high in fruits, high in vegetables and stuff like that. And then, as you probably see, this meal is pretty high in fat. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil, which these were cooked in. And the burger was also cooked in olive oil and bulking. So that's why, that's why I have these high carbs from the white uh, toasted sesame seed buns, from the chips and stuff like that. If I was cutting, what I would do is just make one big burger, don't cook any chips, and use half of a sesame seed bun like so, and then use the other side, use a wee bit of lettuce, depending on how far I'm in my cut or whatever. So this is what this is a pretty fucking easy meal to make. Which tastes so fucking good. If you cook it the way I cooked it, 
you will have the best fucking meal ever. You'll enjoy bodybuilding. And if mommy or daddy's cooking your meals, then you need to learn how to fuck to make your own food. So I'm going to eat this right here. You have the full instructional video. Just some key points. You want to cook. And you want to slice the chips into small wedges. You want to cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. Sometimes it might take longer. Sometimes it might be less. But an easy way to check is put your fork through it. And you want it to slowly fall off and still feel hard in the middle. If it's really mushy, it's overcooked. And if it's too hard, it'll be hard whenever you serve it. The way I cook it, it always comes out perfect. But this comes with experience. Like, comment, subscribe. Try this meal yourself. Let me know what it's like whenever you have it. And that's me, Audi guys. Stay tuned.